Um, I didn't mind Nomoria. Personally, I, I quite enjoyed Nomoria. But again, Nomoria is one that I, I had a sort of... It was a bittersweet sort of thing to it. Because whilst it wasn't kick-started, it was just that the developer said, oh, well, you know, I'll be doing this, this, and that. Um, that didn't end up happening. And that was always a bit of a, a bit of a shame. It was a real, real shame, in my opinion. I definitely felt the sting of what that game might have one day become, but never would now. Some carrots. I really do need to sort this out a little bit better. I know. I'm being awful about it. Um, violet seeds. Definitely want some violets. And we'll move them later. Snow poppy seeds. We'll actually get specific gardens for each of these herbs and things. Winter moss seeds. We definitely need these. We'll eventually make little uh, areas where I can just grow these en masse. Thank you very much, Nunk, for the Twitch Prime sub. Walls are OP. I guess that walls probably would be, to a certain degree. And thank you very much for the uh, cheer, Canty. That was very kind of you. Good night, Bambolin. Thanks for dropping by. And good night, Karth, as well. Yeah, I've definitely taken to a more I'll wait until it's released kind of approach generally with games. Um, initially, there was there was quite a lot of success, and and I saw a lot of good things happening with kickstarting and stuff like that. But increasingly, I feel not so much bad actors, but just um, unfortunate instances where the the Kickstarter just failed, um, or. The reality of, of making a game kind of sunk in a little bit too late to stop them promising the world before they realized they couldn't actually deliver it. And uh, that has definitely, definitely made me a little bit more weary of anything like that. Oh my good lord, the amount of meat. Please cook, please be making loads of meat. All of the meat. Need more. Right, that can go. I want to maintain... 20. No. F uh, 10. 10. Maintain 10 at all times, please. Generally speaking, I want those to be made first. These to be made next. Those to be made after that. I then want things that I can actually eat to be made. And then materials for cooking. <laughs> I think I have. I could make Frogger interesting. Oh, I don't know about that. I could give it a shot, but... Right, we've got a decent amount of food in there now. We've got sheep feed, boil feed, rabbit feed, and that's good enough. We'll see how the rest goes. Oh my good lord, this is just ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Uh, but in a good way. Um, what's my weaver doing? My weaver just said, well, you know what? Crafting spool of dirt. Good, 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 good. That's what I need. That's exactly what I need. I require that we get this made. Excellent. I'm going to move to the top. If you've got the material to make it, make it, please. 
Because once that's done, this is done, and then I can start building out the next room. How's this mine going? Oh, we're doing alright. Got a couple of uh, nice bits of ore coming in. Copper. There's a lot of this. Uh, we can't really use silver, so it's a bit of a tricky one. I mean, it's nice to have, but doesn't actually serve serve us particularly well. I can see through the world. What arcane magics am I capable of? Who knows? Um, I'm not even sure that there is actually use to the fortifications in the game, which is a shame if that isn't the case. But if if you can just like build walls and then it's like, yeah, nothing can hurt me now. Then there's a part of me that's like, well, I'm not entirely certain that I, I like that. <laughs> I would like to just be able to station my archers up on top and actually rain death down. And things would try to breach doors and stuff like that. But if I build it and then it's like, yeah, they're never getting through. Then it's a, a tad disappointing, let's say. Making some more ingots. Fantastic, Sang. Where are you? Uh, you're doing alright at the moment. You're on your way there, at the very least. Can I organize this by. Yes, I can. Good. Awesome. By profession. Trolling, place of window on speed. Crafting roasted portion of. Uh, Caribou, I assume. Collecting ingredients. Okay, that's not going too bad. Goblins and skeletons just need to bring ladders. It's fine. It's exactly the same problem with Nomoria. You built a wall. Rip raid. The only thing with Nomoria is that you couldn't get any migrants in. You couldn't get any merchants in. So unless you were self-sufficient at that point... Then allowing the enemy to just amass outside your walls was not a good idea. Um, it was a particularly bad idea early on in the game because um, prior to them making it so that if something was starving, it would leave the map, you could just wait out to siege and then just go out and collect all of the juicy, juicy steel loot eventually that they were showing up with. Or, you know, butcher the carcass and suddenly you've got, aha, I've got two-headed troll leather. I didn't kill a two-headed troll, I just waited for it to starve. But eventually, um, that got fixed. And the next stage... Uh, so, the first thing that happened is you couldn't just loot them. They just leave. So, you had to try and trap them. But, you know, people still managed to do that. The next stage was if they couldn't find a way into your kingdom, they would simply tunnel their way in. It was kind of a hacky way of doing it. Because uh, the tunnel just kind of popped up out of nowhere. But... At least it invalidated people just literally locking down the fort and never going out. Uh, but again, as I illustrated in Castle Goat, you could just make a trap that would do that for you. The only only way that Castle Goat fell is because I pushed the system to its limits and um, the pathfinding caused so much lag when you had thousands of goblins attacking you that they basically just teleported through the trap system. But... Up to that ridiculous number of, of goblins attacking, it worked the charm. You know, they would just get dumped into the gladiatorial pit where they would either A, starve to death because they couldn't get out anymore, or B, would just be used as target practice for my, uh, for my musketeers. Hooray! Beauteous. Beauteous! Death by lag is the ultimate end of all forts, yes. Pretty much. Right, I'll pop that one in there. Then we'll get rid of this one. Don't want it there anymore. Take that out. We've got our way up now. Eventually we'll do something nicer with it. Probably extend this out. Maybe have a... Some sort of... Um, gatehouse or something around there? Maybe. I don't, I don't know yet, but we'll see. Quite a lot of amounts of clay, though. It's not too bad. 
Hi, Avak. It's been like months since seeing one of your streams. Oh, hello. I hope they haven't lost their charm or it have gotten better or... Uh, basically, I hope you enjoy some. Uh, right. Time for us to start thinking of the next next room we're going to make, really. Um, let's go ahead and do that. Uh, we need three for a door. Another window there. And if I want it to have a sign, it's something like this. About ten wide should do. Then down, three in there, down, and two there. There we go. I'm not sure what workshop this is going to be. Not yet, anyway. Uh, in fact, I'm going to make this a little bit nicer. There we go. Oh yeah, that, that'll be actually quite nice. Right, let's uh... What the devil are you? Alright. Send out our troops to deal with you. Daily update. Hooray! A young... Well, sorry. Pause, 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 pause. Okay, that's fine. Don't want any of your stuff. There we go. Let us find out who Kargunar is. It is Tender Roast. Well done, Tender Roast. There we go. Welcome to the Dapper Deep. You're a jokester. Nice. You've also got a mining pick. You like reinforced stone doors and wall mounted iron, iron, iron wall mounted lanterns. And picket fence. Hmm. Very well. What the? On earth, a varnace. This is apparently the small variety, too. <gasps> You're firing from on top! That's amazing! There we go, we've got Varnas meat now. That means we need to set up something to make use of that Varnas meat. Oh yes. Oh yes. There we go. Go ahead and maintain five of these. Justice for Nightbot! Okay, well, we've got a nice little area coming together here. Now, I'm not sure which one this is going to be. We've got Mason. We've got a cook. Weaver next, maybe? You know what? No, no, it's not going to be a Weaver. I have been a scallywag. A scallywag, I tell you. I have not. Not yet given our trapper, who for the longest time was the highest level person in this fort anywhere to call their own. And that will not stand. No longer, say I. They're going to have a house. It will be a, a lovely house in the mountain. It will be glorious. A little, little boat. That's all it needs to be. Just a, just a little place to call their own. It's all they ever wanted. And we'll have another house there. That one could be a workshop. But damn it. We need that. And we do need a herbalist, yes. We need a... Um, blacksmith to get a level 4 first. So that they can make us a carpenter saw. Alas. It is a thing that is required. Ah, uh, sorry. Yeah, level 4. How close are you, Zhang? Not close enough. We need to make other things, though. Um, I 
I don't want to make anything on Zion Bandit, frankly. Make what you can, though. I, I need to move these. There we go. We're drowning in food. No conceivable reason to need any other food brought to us. None whatsoever. Make a vault or two. They hold a ton of items. Yeah, I'm strongly considering that, actually. thing I could do is I could make a, a gateway down here with a tunnel that leads back and then comes up inside and then out. Ooh, I like this idea. I do. I do. I think this idea has merit. I think this idea is going to become. Alright. Yeah, that's good enough. Let's pop you in there. Alright, okay. Let's uh, shrink you down to four wide. Actually, no, let's shrink it down to three wide. And then... Yeah, let's bring that back, actually. One, two, three. Actually, no, 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 no. Pause. Wait, 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 wait. Don't want to do that. Don't want to do that. No, no. We want to move this along by one, so that I can have torches on either side. I may then restrict, uh, like, rebuild up a little bit over here, eventually. This is going to lead right back. Seems fine. We'll have it lead all the way back, somewhere around here. Then it's gonna head down. And eventually it's gonna pop out over there. Something like that, I think. Let's shrink this back a little bit. What I'm doing here is I'm going to have the stairs go down on this side. So this can remain useful for other things. I could have a some sort of building back there, another building over here. Perhaps this would be the vault. Like a large vaulted area at the back. And the stair would head down on this side. Got to try and isolate how deep I want this to go though. If I turn on x-ray Oh my lord What really? Oh is that the bottom of the map? Oh yeah, it's actually as deep as I thought But ultimately whatever happens this is where I want the doorway to come out Something like that. Three on each side so I can have torches. So that'll lead down and then back out. So let's slice this again. This way I can see exactly where I need to uh, dig through. And then head 
head back up. Mm, that's a little bit of an awkward position there, but we should be able to get down there, I think. Let's just lay in the plans for now. The very least, we need those. I absolutely know that apparently I could use the stair tool to do this, but I like doing it manually. Uh, bef oh, actually, no, no, no. Before we do that, we very much need to make sure that this is... Uh, we dig this out carefully. Otherwise, I'm going to end up with the position where I've got to do some really finicky building in order to get that to work. Glad I realized that before I made a very big mistake that it was going to cost me a lot of time. We'll just start this for now. It's going to be an ongoing project that's going to take me a lot of time to get done. Unfortunately. But, uh, oh, actually, what am I doing? Oh, please don't. I, yeah, I've made a mistake there as well, actually, thinking about it. Okay, well, thankfully, I realized that mistake as well. Once again, I need to... I need to leave a, a gap for the stairs. If I just started the stairs right on the edge, it would have looked awful. There we go. That'll do. think that should work. Okay. That's going to be a lot of work for our people to work uh, to get done. But that's fine. I'll, I'll let them crack on with that. And then we'll hook these, these two areas up. Might even have some extra rooms down there or something like that. But I would rather not if I can avoid it. What I would really like is for this tunnel to go around the back and come out in the... In the out here somewhere, like you just reach around and I can have a bunch of other homes dug into the wall. I really like having the uh, the homes in the walls. I, I don't know what it is about that aesthetic, but it's really, really nice for me, anyway. Um, let's make one of these, and then I would like one of those as well. Gonna need a new bed. Gonna need. I probably already got the table and chairs taken care of. Yeah, I have. Okay, that's fine. Yep, Kitty tamed a rabbit named Hope. Uh, as far as I'm aware, the animals are pretty random. I don't think you can rename them once they're they're already, um, once they're already there. As far as I'm aware. Okay, we got a door. Let's get you in. If we can fit it in there. Come on. Rotate. Donk. Gotcha. Window as well. This is going to be Kitty's room. Pop in a really nice candle there. A really nice table as well. You've done an amazing job, so you deserve it. And chair. And as soon as that wall is done, though it might take a little while because I've given my diggers so much work to do. But uh, as soon as all that's done, you'll get a bed over there as well. This is one of the first rooms that isn't actually a, uh, a workshop. But I'm happy with it. I think we're doing alright. Uh, animals are, for the most part, okay. 
Um, we've got loads of sweet potatoes now. Excellent. Hopefully our farmer will be uh, leveling up. On the way to level 2. Zangiri is very nearly level 4. So impossibly close to level 4. I just need it so bad. New. Maybe I could just make loads of blacksmith's forge. I wonder. Make me a bunch of blacksmith's forges, please. I'm hopeful that'll be that'll give you a level up. People seem to be quite happy. Oh, well, our cook is helping out with the farming. That's actually pretty cool. Oh no, you're back in there. Fantastic. That means we are almost done with this and we can get the bed down. Donk. There we go. Middle of the room. No, we'll have it on the side. There we are. It's going to be marvellous once it's built. Absolutely marvellous. Our trapper does deserve. Quite, quite deserves uh, a, a room of their own. Let's be honest. Considering how much work they do. You get any closer? Watch closely. Let's go up. Mm, I think it did, actually. Ares is doing okay. He's curled up at the moment. He stole my foot warmer. So he is my foot warmer now. I've got a like a little um, heated foot warmer, basically. It's, it's kind of like one giant slipper. You stick both feet in and, it, and it's got uh, a little element at the bottom so it warms. And he's very fond of curling up in there. Problem is, he's pretty much as big as it can take. So there's not really much room for my feet. But they kind of just stick out. He just, he just pushes himself in there until he he just more or less pushed my feet out. Scallywag. But he enjoys it. Okay, well, they're getting a lot healthy, which is good. I'm getting to the point, though, I'm a little bit concerned that we need more fighters. You could become a knight. Increased stamina, courage, and draws attention from monsters. The knight gains an additional 10% defense from equipment. Level 3. Powerful overhead swing. Deals double damage. Um, I think we're going to make you a knight, yeah. Let's go for it. Let's knight you. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. That was a very dramatic change. Right, here we go. Let's get you set up for Kitty. There you are, Kitty. You have your own personal room. The first on this level, as it happens. Right. We've got a few things. Level 1 Knight. Excellent. Damage reduction rank 1. Good, good, good. And a trader approaches your town. Hello, Dapper Deep. I'm just passing through, but I'd be willing to make a trade or two, if you're interested. If you make me five wooden swords... I'll be back in three days, and might be able to get you five curtains in exchange. Sound good? Oh yeah, I can mix five wooden swords, it's not a problem. I mean, it's not going to be wooden, it's going to be stone, but apparently they, they work just as well. Oh, 
That's cool. It's an actual trade quest. That's actually really cool. I like that. Thank you very much for the resubscription there, Finger Basket. Any night with a Navic stream is a good one. Oh, thank you. That's a lovely thing to say. I am t quite tempted to switch you over to uh, archery, honestly. Mm hmm. Oh, you're so sad. What's wrong? Why are you so glum? Stuff hasn't been turning out as I would like. Pain. Moderate. Oh, right. Okay, that's... Yeah. Booped. A cute rabbit booped me today. It made me feel warm and fuzzy. That's lovely. My meal was cooked. Pleasant bedroom. Had a great talk. Okay, well, hopefully we can really stack this up. We'll see. It's generally moving upwards. So... It is time for you to get a new job, though. You're going to be a footman. Good both. Be awesome. Next up, I would like Golna to become an archer. You're going to have to have a little bit more time before you can get the uh, the copper gear, but that's fine. Carpenter Alec! Oh, has Zangi finally leveled up? <gasps> yes! Yes, 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 yes. You look like you will be a fantastic carpenter. So a carpenter, you shall be Frankenstein. Fourth. Well, become the best you you can be. Oh, here he is sweeping. He looks alright. He's been dreaming a lot lately. Two days, and he's going to be going for his op. Trade it back in two days. Great. Okay. To give you five curtains, if you have five wooden swords, ready for him. Well, hopefully we can get wooden swords. Right, let's have a look at our carpenter then, as soon as they're actually made. There we go! Finally! Hooray! Happy days! Please make me carpenter's workbench. Like, right now. And a bunch of wooden swords, just in case. Um, a couple of log pals, maybe. Wooden safety standard. Wooden things. In wall mount. What? I can make an actual inn? That is uh, good, actually. Very good. A writing desk. I can make a couple of really nice things, actually. Go ahead and make me a few of these. This is going to be truly glorious. There we go. Have you not joined this squad? Yes, you have. You should have. Where is our... Footman. Not with the group. Interestingly. Oh, no, no, you are actually there. All four of you are there. That's fine. It was just a little bit confusing for a moment there. But all is well. Okay, well now we've got that, we should be able to have the carpenter make a 
Oh, wrong one. Um, really hopeful for a herbless staff. I'll require a carpenter level 2. But that's fine, I'll set that up. Furthermore, oh, you don't yet have any of the uh, items I need. That's fine. We've got a decent little uh, group now, protecting the land. I mean, I say it's decent, it might not be. <laughs> it might be an awful group. But it looks good for me. Everything seems okay in here. What are you doing? Oh, right. Still making a couple of those. You know what? That's fine. You don't need another one. You've got all the levels we need. It's fine. What I wouldn't mind, though, now is to get some decent weapons. Sure, go ahead and make one of these. We'll have the necessary materials shortly. Oof. That's going to be rough to get, but it would be great once we've got it. How is the digging going? Did a potential silly. Right, let me fix it. Try it. Already messed that up. Saw it. I keep missing um, the limitations on their digging up. They can only dig a certain number of tiles above themselves. It's quite vexing. But if I can make a stairway up to that area, then I should be okay. Oh, you're manage managing to get it. Oh, that's great. Oof. I was a little concerned about that. That's okay then. I can two days, it's fine. We should have plenty of swords by then. Uh, I will go ahead and I'll make a, a spare couple though, just in case. Oh, and there we go. We're gonna have our first herbalist. Oh, this is gonna be great. Absolutely great. And we want one of those straight away. Whether we've got someone who can do it or not. We've got someone with decent spirit. Okay. Herbalist it up. Oh, such a mess up here. I need to get that all sorted out soon. Hopefully. Uh, there's a part of me that wishes I'd, I'd accounted for a bit of an overhang around here so I could have, like, a little fence or something. Though, there's another part of me that kind of likes the fact they could, they could literally just walk off the edge. I, I mean, I wouldn't want them to walk off the edge, but that lack of rail. I kind of like that. I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm sort of seesawing back and forth. Still, it's it's all right for now. I'm going to want a double door down here, I think. Just ahead of this mine. 
Uh, maybe even build it out a little bit around the side. Just a little wall to isolate this as like a gatehouse. The leafy stick person has been promoted! Hopefully. Hopefully it's going to make make a difference. Okay, we, we need to deal with this then. Let's see how our greater group can deal with it, these enemies. Oh, good. Archers are already engaging from, from afar. I like it. And their spike arrows are doing a good job. There we go. Oh, it's doing quite a lot of damage, right? Oh, nothing to do. Oh, there we go. Good. Our knight is getting absolutely walloped, though. I fancy our knight had a... was more survivable as a footman, honestly. It's kind of a, a disadvantageous engagement area, though, but we'll see. Hopefully now we've got the uh, herbalist, they'll be able to start taking care of them. So, uh, we can make tonics out of herbs. A medical drink that heals for a minuscule amount. Well, that's not good. Uh, stamina tonic, courage tonic, various other tonics. Heavy bandage. Used by the herbalist to heal for a small amount. Okay, no, no, no. That's exactly what we need. Yes. I can make bright bell seeds now out of the certain amount of flowers. Good. Okay, no, this is good. This is very good. Let's get that going. I want to keep five of these. And I definitely want some of these, but it's going to require that we get up to that point. Um, will they use the right type of bandage for the situation? That is, if it's only a tiny wound... They won't go for the big bandage straight up. That is an important one. No idea. We'll see. Uh, let's get that placed up. I, oh, it's melting my brain a little bit that I'm doing this, but we will get things moved around. A return. I was sure the stream would be over by the time I got back. Hello, Jax Row. It's not long. I've got to be honest. Yep, got got my herbalist. Will be will be getting him leveled. Hopefully quickly. Right, have they finished all the mining jobs. They may have. How's my uh, open air mine doing? Not bad. Not bad at all, actually. I don't need any more stone for now. Like, just not needed. At all. Frankly, I just... Oh, it's, it's like Door Fortress. I just need haulers. I need I need so many haulers just to haul things for forever. Forever haulers. That's what I need. Uh, let's have a look. Trader will be back in two days. Yep, that's fine. Um, trader approaches your town. Hello, Dapper Deep. I'm just passing through, but I'd be willing to make a trade or two if you're interested. You can make me six steel ingots. I'll be back in two days, and I might be able to get you one leather-bound chest in exchange. Ha <laughs> ha! No! You are having a laugh, good sir. Having quite the chuckle at my expense. All right. Let's drive that back a little bit. And then that back. And they should be able to mine all of this at that point. I'm hopeful. And then we'll take that, that stair down. And once we've got that connected up down here, get rid of that ladder. And then we'll get in a little gatehouse. How are you doing? Oh, the animals just want to live in there. That's fine. I don't mind that. Got a little bit, wa little ways to go still, but we'll we'll get there. Forever holics. What? Okay, you've done a sterling job. Thank you very much. Let's get the rest of this area excavated. Just 
go ahead and have a look at how things are going up here. Farmer level two. Excellent. I believe that means we should be able to plant different seeds now. Uh, plant fiber can be spun into thread. Um, yes, actually. Please, sort that crop. I'd very much like it if you could swap that crop over. Uh, let's get some more of the berry bushes harvested. Just to make sure our pets don't starve like they almost did before. Once we've got things sorted out around here, I, I'm going to be so much happier. Um... But just to uh, recap on what we've got, the only bedroom that isn't a part of the workshop is for our trapper, as they have done such a great job and uh, worked tirelessly to keep us fed through the early months. Uh, this is my cook's area, uh, the workshop, and then their bedroom. This is the barracks, such that it is. Uh, some places for people to eat and three beds. Over here, the first of the rooms that we ever built are Mason's bedroom and Mason's workshop as well. It's actually quite a pretty little room, that one. I like it. Let me just make sure. Are we keeping these in stock? We are not. I always want them in stock. Keep five of them in stock at all times, please. Fur rug. Also, five of them in stock at all times. Thick leather vest, skull cap. Mm, I'm not against having that, honestly. Go ahead and make a couple more of those as well. A golem backpack used by the golem man, the geomancer, to craft ox golems. Wow. How much do we need to get? Oh, we need to be a level five, but then we can have fire arrows. Oh, now that is. Now you're talking. I'm all for that. All for it. 41 hours. We should have everything they need. What am I here going on? Things being killed? Are you able to do any of the work that I've told you to do? You should be. So why is that not being done? Hmm. You know what? That's so important a job, you no longer haul. Big Al, I hope you do more of this game. It's definitely more than one stream can contain. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. It is more than one stream can contain. But yeah, if, if, there's, if there's interest, absolutely. And if there's sufficient interest, I will upload the VODs to YouTube as well. In which case, they'll be a fair bit higher quality since it'll I'm recording it in 1080 rather than uh, 720. What? 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 Oh, no. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I got confused. I confoozled myself. There you go. Okay, here we go. We're getting there now. Alright, how low is this going to have to be? Once we can bring this down to the same level. That's one, two, three down. So another two. One, two. What on earth are you doing out there? Oh, you're killing bugs still. <laughs> Ah, uh, good old trapper. I 
think... Yeah, that should be perfect for us. Let's draw this out. All the way. And that should give us our connection point. Once that's complete, we no longer need the ladder. We can use the stairs instead. Oh, that's going to be fantastic. I'm really, really happy with having done that. That was not something I was going to do. Uh, but the last little thing I, I think I will do over here is just have a... Well, I might extend this out just, just a wee bit. No, I can't strictly extend it the way I would like. Mm. Maybe I could have the door over here and then some windows. Yeah, I could probably do that. Yeah, that shouldn't be an issue, actually. Thirty-four hours until the trader is here. We'll wait until the trader, and then I think we'll wrap up the uh, the stream there. Big Al, it's late. I'm going to go full screen and lay down. I don't blame you, mate. I don't blame you. Right, how are you doing over here? Still not making these, which is surprising me. Why is that not being done? You're idle. But why? Have I disabled your jobs? No. Benches being placed. Herbless lab. Let me uh, place it again. We'll see if that makes a difference. I'm going to crack on. Let's, uh, let's remove that, then we'll add it back on, shall we? Or perhaps I'll, you know what, I'll just make a couple of seats. There we go. There we go. Do. Perfect. Got your working now. Oh, I'm making actually surprisingly quick progress. You get. We need level two to make this, and we're easily got enough materials for it, so let's craft it and pump it right up to the top. Cathedral Arch Chair, that's actually quite nice. But, no. But, no. Uh, I would like to sell some of the ridiculous amounts of stone I've got. Uh, we want to sell... Ooh. Look at those. Lovely. Sell this. Not selling those, no way. Uh, anything else? Sure. Sell some of these. I would like to place some of these wonderful items. You know what? Sure. Let's have it right there. I think that's where I'm going to put most of these for the time being. Uh, except in here where I'm going to have one at the foot of every bed. Or maybe just like halfway between each bed and table. Yeah, that looks nice. Um, I 
I've got a couple of these under personal tables. And one down here. Can I fit in a dresser for you? I think I can. Excellent. That'll make that room even nicer. Uh, I've got a candle over there, so I don't need another another one quite as close by. I'll pop the dresser right there. And over here... Uh, that one's actually a bit too tight for me to put a dresser in, so we won't bother. Twenty-five hours. You're currently crafting snow poppy seeds. You'll be level two in no time, and we'll have our first cleric. Do rugs affect anything like room load? Like making a place beautiful? Yeah, yeah, it does. That's exactly what you're, you're building them for. And they also affect the net worth. Um, so again, like Rimworld in that sense, but uh, more in the way that net worth worked in th games like Nomoria, where the more net worth you had, the more you, the, the more you needed to attract new uh, migrants, so on and so forth. But I believe, ooh, there we go. Except. Uh, a goblin with a fancy hat, so I get into town. Alright. First, Tenderos has achieved Herbalist level 2. Collective, uh, collaborative insight. The Herbalist is now skillful enough to use materials crafted by other crafters. Marvelous. Furthermore, uh, the Snorri Vemond has joined us. Well, let's find out, Snorri, what your real name is. Nightbot, one of the last names for this stream is Aurea. There you go, Aurea. Welcome to Dapper Deep. Let's have a look at you. Six spirit, two mind, three body. Not bad, actually. Not bad at all. Wouldn't mind making you another herbalist. Kill the goblin, steal the fancy hat. No. How cruel. You dumb bock. Me, big, glittering chieftain. Natural order mean you give me stuff, and I know these draw ye you. Me want supplies. Understand? No. What? Cannot believe. Must kill. <laughs> Rip us, I suppose. Rip us. Uh, right, I want Tender Roast super need you to change jobs. I want you to be a cleric as soon as possible. Uh, I need you to work on that cleric show. Is that what you're working on? It does appear that that's what you're working on. Good, good. As soon as you, you have that, we're going to swap your job. Hey, we get a free hat out of the deal. This is taking a long time. There we go! Right. I would very, very, very much like you to change jobs to a cleric. There we go. Uh, healing Aura, the cleric's presence, heals everyone around them periodically. The cleric's presence improves them. Ooh. Like that. Pause this for a moment. I now want Aurea to be change job in the herbalist, ideally, as soon as you get the chance. Where are the invaders? Ah! Solid. Yes. Yes, it looks. It's got 1,440 hit points. Allow that to sink in for a moment. 1,400 and for oh my goodness it's gonna hurt quickly we need you ever ever more than, than we ever did before quick now please yes yes good change jobs be a herbalist enjoy your new job and uh, the group including our new cleric super badly need you down here actually 
Oof. Goblin Radiant Party approaches. Really? Really at the same time? Why have you gotta be so mean? Oh dear. That's probably not the best place for you to be, guys. I'm gonna be honest with you. I think it would probably be best if you weren't there. Like, right now. Um, move. Over there. Ideally. Please. Everyone. Also, everyone get inside. Are they are they going to aggro on each other or are they only aggro on us? It looks like they only aggro on us. So it's super bad. Keep up the healing, healing words. The words of healing. Super need those right now. Um, this is super bad. Yep. You're low on health. That is not at all surprising. You're getting absolutely clobbered. On the plus side, we're, you know, doing good work. It's already below half health. You know, that's certainly not uh, anything to be sniffed at. Run away! Flee while you can! The goblins are probably raiding all of our stuff, aren't they? They're stealing my stone? Oh, those scallywags! Of all the most needed of items that I have, my stone. We cannot, we cannot let them get away! Well done on the level up there. I don't think we're gonna stop. Damn it! Super badly don't want them to get away with my stone. It's the, it's the principle of the thing. Well done. More shootings. If that hadn't happened all at the same time. What did we get out of that? We got coal. I think they're still scarpering. Yep, they are still, in fact, scarpering. I require that they be put to the sword. If we hadn't got a cleric when we did, oh my goodness, would that have been bad. Like, wow, seriously. The only reason we're still going is our cleric. <laughs> Who is now level two, by the way? Well done. Super well done. Let's uh, pause this for a moment. Just, well, actually, you know what? You carry on through. Finish off this fight. I can't believe we just got through that. <laughs> Dear Lord, my goodness, please be with lots of healing. Yep, yep, awesome, awesome healing. Ah, no, it went away. Well, that's annoying. That's what I get for waiting, I guess. Uh, well, actually, I've got you selected. Let's have a look. So, attributes, blah, blah, blah equipment, backpack, no, nope. job abilities. Level two. The cleric's presence improves the muscle of those around them. Oh, okay. And next up, increases compassion uh, for increased direct healing. Heal aura too. Healing aura power and radius increased. The cleric's presence greatly improves the muscle of those around them. And finally, the cleric has mastered the art of healing. Compassion greatly increased. Excellent. Excellent. I think uh, there are a few, few uh, ways to wrap up a stream. Then a big old boss battle, which we utterly crush fantastically, and everyone levels up as a result of it. This was a good day. A super good day. Our cleric is slowly putting everyone back together as well. This is an even better good day. I'm super happy with this. Super happy. Maybe now David Bowie can take over and help civilize these goblins. Well, I mean, if you actually read the law. The goblins really hated Jareth. Basically, because Jareth, well, actually Jareth wasn't even that, well, he was quite a powerful magician in his own right, but he got an even powerful magician to cast a spell on the labyrinth, which meant the goblins could never destroy it or damage it. And so he, he basically won by, by, not by being stronger, but by be, basically being able to outlast any attempted riot the goblins would ever put forward. But when that magic finally failed, and it did, eventually, oh, there was a reckoning. The goblins weren't too happy about being led by Jareth at all. Jareth, rather. That was truly awesome, though. 
I really, really enjoyed that. Our cleric did an amazing job. Tender Roast, MVP. Without doubt, MVP. You don't like the gloomy clouds, though. Improved my skills. Ate a tasty meal. My meal was cooked. Pleasant dining. Hooray. Super hoorays. Okay, but that's uh, gonna be it for this stream, I think. I really, really enjoyed this. That was amazing. We <laughs> We're drowning in food. Oh, how things have changed. We've still got a lot of work to do. That really disappoints me. I might have to just rip that wall down and replace it. It's going to be cheaper than ripping this down and replacing it. But uh, it's a shame. It's a shame because I really would have liked that to be changed. That just looks so much better. But, oh well. We're going to have to, in the next uh, next stream, build out this wall all along. And have like some sort of gatehouse there. Maybe have another tower. I don't know. Uh... I kind of like this tower just because it's on the edge there, but we'll see. Maybe I'll even have a tower in the middle, and we'll have a tower over there and a gatehouse somewhere around here. Uh, and then on this side, much the same. Tower, 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 wall, gatehouse somewhere in there. Down the bottom, my plan is to expand out a, sh a smaller wall that has just a gate in it. Um, it's not one that you could walk on like this. J literally just, just uh, an entryway into our kingdom. Then over here, much uh, a very similar wall branching out, and then possibly around the side, we'd have more homes in the uh, in the mountain face then as well. I might dig this down a bit to have a, a second tier though, maybe even a tier that we access by stairs on this side. I'm not sure on that one yet, but uh, I do like having the kind of tiered effect. I think it's a really nice aesthetic. I'm really, really pleased with what we've got so far. Might drop down a couple more lights and things as well. But that's all for the next stream. I really hope you've all enjoyed. I've had a great deal of fun. And uh, I'm glad to see that quite a lot of you have enjoyed it as well. I am still undecided on whether this is going to go up on YouTube. Obviously, if you're watching on YouTube at this point, in which case you've like watched through, I don't know, like six to 12 episodes already, well, you already know what I decided. But uh, we'll see. We'll see. I'll pop something up on Twitter or on Discord um, to to gauge people's interest. But that's going to be it from me. So thank you once again for joining me. You have made this a real pleasure. And I hope you all have a wonderful night. But until next time, take care, everyone. <laughs>